Hey everyone, how you doing? We're in the Bahamas, checking out the famous Atlantis Resort, all the water slides, the beaches. I'm gonna show you all of this stuff. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're checking out the Atlantis Marina, which connects the Harbor Side Hotel and Atlantis. And actually we're staying at the Harbor Side, which is cool because you're still on property. You get to charge Starbucks to your, your room and stuff like that. But we have a kitchenette, so it saves you a little bit of money. They say it's a 15 minute walk, but I find it's about a seven minute walk. So I give the Harborside Hotel a total thumbs up and the Atlantis is right here. And in between is this amazing walk you can do every morning. So let's go check out more of Atlantis here in the Bahamas. Okay, now I'm walking from the Atlantis right there. It took me nine minutes and uh, through the harbor site which is totally awesome now i'm gonna check out the harbor side hotel that we're staying at i think there are seven buildings i totally give it a thumbs up i saw the elevator lineups for atlantis and the lobby and it was very 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 busy so it's kind of nice just to have a short walk stay in all these amazing buildings we have a balcony kitchenette uh, come back make dinner we don't have a barbecues but that's okay anyways there's building two so I highly highly suggest Harborside I'll let you go check out the website for you know what the rooms look like they're always being updated and stuff like that so you can do your own tour there's different configurations and stuff like that and then behind us is nasa which is the capital or you know downtown per se you got to take these bridges over because this is an island in itself and then right there if you can see them are the cruise ships so lots of cruise ships and they get off and people spend the day in nasa or they come here to the water parks for the day so there gives you a little lay of the land my favorite thing to do here on our first day is to go walk to starbucks along the harbor side here look at all these cool boats get a coffee now i'm heading back to our hotel and then we're going to uh, head back to atlantis to the amazing water parks for the day and i'm going to show you every single water park in action okay let's go okay if you're staying at harbor side you also have our own pool i just found uh, big pool hot tub huge area with gorgeous views of the harbor Atlantis over there, the cruise ships behind me. So, if you're staying at Harbor Side, don't fret. You have an amazing pool to come back to at the end of the day. Let's go check it out. The Harbor Side Resort is located a short distance from the main Atlantis property, across from the world renowned marina. Now, we just loved walking from the Harbor Side Resort every morning to the uh, beaches and the pools and the water parks and the other hotel and we just loved starting our day walking along the marina as you saw it's a beautiful walk huge yachts there's shops there starbucks a burger shack a pizza place so we just loved our walk every day from the harborside resort to the main property harborside is a secluded escape perfect for the seasoned traveler the simple yet luxurious waterside villas will make you feel like a full-time Bahamian resident and are best for large groups or families thanks to the spacious layout and amenities such as full kitchens and laundry. And as I said, we enjoyed having the kitchen, you know, we'd have our breakfast there, uh, have our some of the dinners there, just have drinks there, you know, the full kitchen was awesome. And we actually used the laundry bean uh, on property for a week so it was really awesome and the harbor side resort you get access to all the amenities uh, your wristband for the beaches and everything so i really love harbor side resort okay the adventure continues and now i'm gonna go explore the four resorts on the beach surrounded by all the water and the water parks and all the activations 
So there is a shuttle that runs from all the properties and it runs about every 10 minutes and it goes to the harbor side, the coral, the royal, the cove, and the reef. And it's a great way to get around if you're going all the way from one end to the other, or maybe like me, you're going from the beaches to the harbor side and you're carrying a bunch of stuff. But on our state, other than doing this tour for the video, I didn't actually use the shuttle because I found walking along the marina was amazing to the harbor side. And if I'm walking from the four resorts on the beach, I just walked along the beach because it was, you know, it's a bit of a distance, but not too far. So here we're arriving at the cove and right away you sense luxury. Uh, I would say more um, for couples, maybe not kids. And, uh, you know, kids are welcome, of course, but if the one property is for couples, uh, adults, it's definitely the cove. So the cove is nestled between the two private beaches. This sensational retreat is made for anyone looking to indulge in Bahamian splendor. The Cove is an elegant hotel, perfect for couples seeking a romantic getaway all the way to families in need of a relaxing oasis. There are 600 luxury suites with French and full balconies elegantly situated between the two magnificent beaches with floor to ceiling ocean views. So it is really incredible as you can see <laughs> by the views here. There's a bunch of high-end restaurants, um, the private beach access, a spa, and so much. So here we're just spending a little time to look at the cove because the lobby is just, just stunning. And you know, remember when you're at all the resorts, you can go from a resort to resort to resort as I did here. And at all the resorts, there is a total of 21 restaurants 19 bars, 141 acres of thrilling water park adventures, which we'll see, so hang on. Uh, 18 hole golf course, which we'll see, so hang on. Um, you know, a casino, which you'll see a little bit of because you're not really supposed to have cameras there, but it was a stunning casino. And 11 incredible pools. So we're gonna see one pool quickly here as I go from the cove uh, and I speed up uh, the video a little bit to head over to the reef. So a little bit about the reef. The reef is pers uh, perfect for families, you know. Uh, be at home in paradise. For those who want to enjoy the comforts of home with remarkable views of the tropical paradise, these luxury residents are just what you're looking for. So, you know, the reef is again, more for families with larger suites and again they ha all have the great views and both you know the cove and the reef you just it's minutes away from you know your own pool and then the beach and then you move uh, closer to the royal where you're by the water park so everything is really really close by um, so there's a little quick look of the cove and the reef before we go check out more of this amazing resort. Okay, now I'm outside of the reef hotel and the reef is really at the end of the Atlantis property. So I wanted to show you that. It's interesting to see the end because we're going on this tour from end to end to end at the Atlantis resort. So a beautiful walkway and as we end here, if you look to the left, that is the, uh, you know, the end of the Atlantis property. And as we make this turn, I'm showing you the amazing beach. Now this is for reef guests only. So if you love a sandy beach, I think this is the nicest beach in the property. Maybe you pick this hotel just for the beach because it is incredible. And here we are on the map. I'm showing you where we are at the private beach for the reef residents only. Now Cove also has a private beach, but it's 18 plus, plus they have a pool um, for guests, 18 plus and gaming, uh, lots of cool stuff there. Now 
here I am around the back side of the cove pool that everyone can go to and I wish we found this earlier it was day five we finally found this and I found this pool very relaxing less busy easier to get a chair a huge pool to cool off they had waterfalls they had concession food stands, um, two of them right near this pool that had like salads and I think healthier stuff than by the water parks that we were for, you know, four days. So an amazing, amazing pool. And again, you know, here we are, we did the reef, the cove, the uh, water parks, the royal, and the coral is at the end here. And um, then I showed you earlier, there's also the harbor side that we are staying at. So again, that's a recap of this big tour that we're doing. Now I wanted to check out the dolphin area because uh, I'm exploring every single area in the property to help you decide if you want to come here. and. It is amazing. On the way there, I found a fitness center that was amazing. Weights and then a pool just for the fitness center, if that's something you're interested in. But here I am continuing on to the dolphin area. And it's just so beautiful. The property everywhere you look is stunning architecture and um, just so beautiful. So pulling into the dolphin K area, it's huge and you can do dolphin experiences you can like get a kayak and uh, float around sit on a nice beach so look how big it is just incredible there's also a spa here i turned the camera off when i went inside but a gorgeous spa and just to give you your boundaries it's right here on the corner as we approach or get closer to the royal hotel now we're at the Royal Hotel and in, I refer to this in, in the beginning of the video, uh, the Royal as Atlantis, because to me, this is what Atlantis is all about. So if you like action and energy and excitement, maybe the Royal Resort is for you because it's just stunning everywhere you look. There are amazing things. And just looking at the building itself, you know, uh, is incredible uh, itself. That room in the middle that connects the two towers is supposed to be super expensive. A lot of famous people stay there. But there is a lot of energy and excitement at the Royal Tower. So if uh, you like energy and excitement, maybe this is the hotel for you. Now, I love the Royal Towers and the area out here because there's just so much to do and not that busy in this area and just stunning all the water. And you can actually go snorkeling in this area or just walk around with your coffee and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Now, there's another area, this pond that's salt water with a great beach. I actually never went there. There was no time, but another option for you if that's something you're interested in. But what I really, really found amazing was the dig that is below this area that takes you on an amazing journey and it ends in the Royal Lobby. So when this starts, I'm going to be quiet and just let you check out the dig and the lobby of the Royal Resort and the casino. And after that, we'll continue on exploring the Coral Resort and much more on this tour. So enjoy the dig.
Okay, that was the super power walk through Atlantis. I'm now at the Coral Towers, the final stop of my destination. I'll do some research here before I edit and put this video together, but this looks like the oldest building, maybe not renovated, not pink like all the other ones, but we're gonna go look at the lobby now and continue the tour of this amazing complex. Let's go. So the coral is made up of the ocean and shore wings and then the main building at the front entrance that I showed you. You know, as I walk through the lobby of the Coral Resort, I find it very relaxing. Uh, less intense intensity than the Royal, the mothership that I call it. Um, and just relaxing, like look at this area, cafe, restaurant here, you can get your morning croissant and coffee, relax with your computer or lunch. You know, here I'm going down to approach the uh, hotel rooms here you see the outside of the structure and what really makes the coral the gem that it is is the outdoor experience right at your footstep when you leave your your guest room like look at this this is how you get from that cafe relaxing area I showed you to you know approach the pool it is just completely stunning the coral has the coral pool, the sun and ice, the lagoon bar and grill, predator lagoon and tunnel, and just so much. And you know, this is the only pool that had a swim up bar. So if that's something that interests you, maybe you want to check out this pool. And like all the other pools, except for the cove, you can come to these pools, any pool as a guest at one of the properties. So uh, just, just stunning. And look at the scenery that you have here. There's a good look at the towers. Now I'm gonna be quiet as I let you enjoy the beautiful experience you can take as you get to the pool area. Now, was that the coolest way to access the pool? So the coral pool, you know, as I said, is just really relaxing. Cabanas, not as busy to get a seat or get a lounger. And then right behind the pool is the um, rope bridge. And this takes you on a giant tour through the you know, outside of the property, there's hammerhead sharks and just so much to see. So I'm gonna be quiet now and just let you enjoy this tour. Because after we complete this walk, it ends up along at the beach and the market. And after that, I'm going to turn it into a higher gear in this video and show you all the incredible water slides at the Aqua Venture because it is truly incredible. So enjoy this walk along the outside of the property and then next I'll check in to show you all the different areas in the water park.
Okay, now it's time to showcase the funnest part of our vacation, and that was coming to Aqua Adventure Water Park every day. We spent like six hours a day here because it was just so much fun, so exciting, and in such a great atmosphere. So I just showcased some of the water slides because hopefully this video might impel you to come here for vacation, and I want you to enjoy them on your own. But here's a little taste of the water park. Okay, one of our funnest day trips activities when we were in the Bahamas was going to hang out with the pigs. There are a few different places you can go to to hang out with the pigs and swim with the pigs and feed the pigs and there's a few different options. Um, for us, it was very easy staying at Atlantis to book a tour and spend the day hanging out with the pigs so I'm gonna let you enjoy the scenery and the time of us hanging with the pigs in the Bahamas. 
Okay, we're on one of the pig islands. There are a few. And my tip is take a private boat if you can. We only had a 20 footer boat. I'll put the name of the company in there information description but if with eight of us it wasn't that much more expensive than doing one of the tour boats packed full of people and one great thing is is they picked us up in nasa at 9 a.m but it was choppy out sorry i'm watching for pigs occasionally a pig a pig just comes running by but uh they picked us up at 9 a.m it was a bit choppy so we didn't snorkel first but they let us on the island a bit early because we were in a private small boat and we had the whole island to ourselves for the first half an hour then as you can see it got really busy once all the bigger boats came in again it wasn't that much more expensive i'll put the information in the description so playing with the pigs feeding the pigs a lot of fun a must do here in the bahamas Okay, now we're cruising back to the Atlantis area after our trip. As I said, you can start from NASA or a different area. There's a lot of different tour groups and different options. But for us, uh, we uh, ended here uh, after leaving from NASA. But um, once we talked to our guide, he said, well, you're staying at Atlantis. Let me drop you off at one of the main points for picking up guests from Atlantis. And that's right below the two iconic bridges that take you to and from Paradise Island. And uh, when we got back, it took us about one minute to get to Harborside Resort. You can see it right there. And then for the rest of you staying at the other four properties, you could walk through the marina or take a shuttle. So there's a little bit of the end to our awesome day with the pigs. There is only one golf course at Atlantis, and that is the Ocean Club Golf Course. The Ocean Club Golf Course offers guests of Atlantis every element for the perfect round. This 18-hole par 72 championship course stretches over 7,100 yards on Atlantis, Paradise Island's Oceanside Peninsula, where crosswinds challenge even the most experienced players. Now this was a truly epic round, a fun thing to do while on a vac vacation at Atlantis. We took the shuttle there and it was completely a bucket list golf experience. So if you're at Atlantis, check out Ocean Club Golf Course. It's amazing. Okay, the last adventure I have to showcase from our amazing vacation to Atlantis in the Bahamas was our road trip to downtown NASA. A lot of people said we had to check out the straw market, but we really liked hanging out on the street, absorbing some local culture, having a cold drink and just relaxing. Soon we discovered this area that was really built for cruise ship passengers, but the general public's allowed to uh, go hang out in this area. And we really enjoyed that. There were like hundreds of shops and food outlets. Checking out the huge cruise ships was a lot of fun. And it was just a really relaxing and safe area. But then we explored the waterfront a little bit, uh, absorbed some more of the culture. And again, look at the mighty ships in dock. A cool thing was this restaurant with an amazing view. So we had to have a one last drink, check out the cruise ships. 
And as I turn the camera here, you know, there are some downtown hotels and this one was beautiful and iconic. So that was very interesting to check out. Now I just have the camera out the window as we take the 15 minute cab ride back to Atlantis uh, on this amazing four hour excursion to downtown NASA. Well, that concludes the video of our amazing vacation to Atlantis in the Bahamas. I checked out all five of the resorts at Atlantis. I checked out the marina area. We went golfing for one day. We went to downtown NASA. Um, we just had such fun at all the water parks and the different adventures. So I totally highly recommend Atlantis uh, for amazing vacation. You know, as I toured around, I showed you the pros and cons of the different hotels. You know, if you're a couple, maybe go to the Cove. If you're a family and you like cooking a lot, Harborside really worked for us. So there was a lot of information packed into this video and I hope it was a lot of fun to watch also. Please like and subscribe the video if you did like it. It really helps the channel. And again, I really, really had an amazing time at Atlantis and the Bahamas. And I'm sure you will if you make this adventure. Thanks for watching.